What's up guys? We're parked at the Roost. Some friends of ours own this property in uh, near Salt Springs, Florida, which is in the Ocala National Forest. So uh, today's video, we're just gonna show you around. So I really like this place. Um, what's cool about it is you have this whole fenced in yard and uh, they actually rent out, like I said, they, they rent out this uh, mobile home here. Um, but they also, whoop, let me get the gate, come on boy. But like I said, they also have full hookups and uh, I'll show you over here what that's like. but. Uh, it's really accessible. The gate's all, the fence is all fenced in back here. Uh, you can lock this gate here. Plus you have a side access where I just came in. And, uh, and then the hookups, there's electric here. Sewer, water. Uh, you got pretty ample space. A little pad here if you, uh, can fit on this pad, but, uh, not sure. And then we'll go back here so uh let's see here we go so we got some kayaks back here and uh and then a fire pit i cut these trees down uh trimmed them up 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 front there and uh stacked them on and there's a fire pit under here so a little barbecue pit if you want to use that if you don't have your own and uh and yeah and then the boathouse and uh, River loves the water, so he's uh, having extremely uh, dirty doggy sessions in the water and then rolling on the dirt and ground. So he loves this place. Just a waiting, just a waiting to throw that thing. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. I got it. Look, I got it, Dad. I got it. Throw it for me, Dad. And this canal here that uh, the property's on, so at the end of this canal, I'll show you on the duck, on the deck here. So yeah, so it just goes out to Little Lake Kerr, and uh, they actually live. Oh, I saw a fish jump over there. Hadn't seen that in a while. Yeah, uh, but they live on the corner there, and then uh, if you take this canal out, you can go down, you can kayak down some other little canals like this with houses and stuff, and then uh, if you go this way in the water down at the end of the canal, go over around this uh, little point here on the other side of this camp and these fences, a, a big old area, beach area and stuff, of course this camp here is old and not really used, but a lot, of, a lot of these other homes are camps, vacation properties. Some of them are vacation properties. Some of some of them uh, people live on. So you also got this space on this side of this uh, mobile home. This I'm not sure how much um, acreage this is, but pretty pretty good size and. Uh, yeah cool stuff here man and some of the things you got around here to do uh there's silver springs uh beautiful beautiful area you can rent kayaks there you can uh they have glass bottom paddle boats uh you can take around the area to see the springs and it's not that pricey i think uh per person to get in it uh i think it's four dollars a person uh, and then if you want to do the paddle boats, uh, it's a little more, but anyways, and there's other springs nearby, uh, Juniper Springs. There's also, um, uh, I think it's called Alexander Springs as well. And...
right guys, today we are with Angel Hill. She is the owner and operator of a property here in, near Salt Springs uh, in Fort McCoy. And uh, it's called The Roost. So uh, today we're gonna just kind of talk to Angel about uh, her place here. And uh, just wanted Angel to kind of tell us a little bit about The Roost uh, and uh, where people can go to, to see your property okay. and all of that stuff. So. Angel, if you don't mind, uh, tell us a little bit about your place and yeah, and, absolutely. And what's going Thanks, on. Travis. Thanks, Travis. So we have a uh, we have a piece of property in Salt Springs, Fort McCoy, Florida. It's Canal Front. Um, we've got a fenced-in yard, so it's a nice little place where you can just kind of enjoy the weekend, the peace and quiet of the forest. Um, my husband and I originally bought this property for an investment property. So I have some family that rents out properties on Airbnb and so we wanted to try it. So we were looking for an investment opportunity. We decided we came and found this piece of property. We thought it was would be a good fit for that because of the lake. There's a mm -hmm. nice lake. Um, lake Kerr, they say, is uh, one of the top bass fishing lakes around. So we thought that would be a good attractant. And just the peace and quiet of the of the forest area. Um, but what we found after we bought the property is that we loved it so much that we ended up staying here all the time instead of renting it out. So um, we've owned the property for about a year and a half now and about a year into it we bought another home right down the street from here to live in permanently so that we could really change this over to more of an investment property which is what we bought it for. Um, but we've done a, done a lot of work to the place. We, we keep it up. Um, it's a nice place for families to come. We have a separate, um, you know, place if you have a camper or an RV, you can bring it and you can hook it up and, you know, have a family gathering here together. We got, it's a three bedroom with two baths, so it's a, it's a nice little cabin. Um, I call it glamping instead of camping. Uh -huh. My husband's a big camper, but I don't like tents and I don't like staying in campers. So this is pretty much, uh, you know, this little cabin is pretty much the best you can get for, for me to go camping. And so we really loved it, enjoyed it, and we love sharing it with our guests. Awesome, awesome. Well, we certainly appreciate you allowing us to, uh, to stay on the property. We had a great time. Um, <clears throat> the boat dock uh, right in the back canal accessible uh, fenced in area like she said was one of the highlights of this place uh, the property is beautiful the inside is is really well kept up uh, we didn't stay in this park of course our campers right outside on the on the property so again we really appreciate you you and Josh allowing us to uh, to stay here and uh, and uh, showcase your property as well Oh, we loved having you guys, and you guys are welcome back anytime. All right. Well, thanks, darling. <laughs> the the main room, it's like one big room, the living room and kind of kitchen combined. Um, we have nice seating here for six. So you'll see five chairs, one's in the bedroom. And then we've got a sofa bed um, over here, the little smaller sofa bed rolls out into an extra sleeping space. So it's a, actually a sofa couch, sofa bed or sofa couch. So that's pretty cool. So this is the uh, master bedroom. Um, when we stayed here a lot, I spent a lot of time in here uh, fixing it up. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a, a glamour type person, so I have a lot of little features that are that are kind of unique to a to a mobile home. You probably wouldn't see anywhere, but it's very cozy little little king size bed, and then um, you have a nice bathroom right off to the to the left. Well, again, thanks, Angel, um, for showing us around the property and everything. And uh, one thing, uh, you know, w where can people uh, find uh, h how to rent your place here if they were looking for a, a getaway out here? Uh, where did they go? Uh, awesome. Yeah, thanks, Travis. If you go to Airbnb.com, search Salt Springs or Fort McCoy, they're both the same town. And then just check out The Roost. It's called The Roost. So it has its own uh, little website there. It's a very, very cool place. You can see the details, see the outlay of the property, and see some great pictures of the inside. So thank you guys for um, staying here and helping us. Thank you. All right. And we'll put the link down below on the screen, too, as oh. well, for everyone to, to oh, see this. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now. And uh, if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, we'll see you.